All right, let's get rolling here this evening. Um, this uh, calls uh, this little conference call is actually uh, recorded, so you can replay it. Uh, you don't have to attend these because we always send them out, but um, it's great for training and showing how the system works. So let's go. Let's dig right into it. Let's go over the uh, the algo and what we need to do, and um, I'll show you the strategy also that um, you traders are going to be getting. So what you have in your hands right now is you have the uh, workspaces for our uh, zone trading, our ATR zone trading software. Um, what I did is I got an upgrade coming to you, which I'll go over tonight. It's what you're looking at right here, and um, so you can see what type of uh, uh, what type of upgrade you're going to even have in additional to what you have. So use the workspaces that we have now. We have everything created for you uh, already. So everything is in your hands. Uh, that those workspaces work on all markets, uh, pretty much the same time frame in all markets also. So I thought I'd switch it up. Here's today's crude oil. Um, since crude's over hundred dollars a barrel now, it's been very active. Uh, I always show the S and P 500, so I thought I'd switch it up a little bit. Um, if you want to see, if you've never seen how these zones work live, uh, go to today's video. When we were recording this morning, it was over a 13-point S&P potential run. Uh, went right to the zone, reversed in the zone, went down 13 uh, potential S&P points. And you can see the rhythm of the zone then. It's towards the end of the video. I go over it. So go to uh, daytradingthefutures.com. Go to videos, and it says live zone trading. And you can see it how it went in the zone, how it reacted out of the zone. So that gives you a feel for how this uh, reacts, Dennis. Um, if you go to daytradingthefutures.com uh, and then you just go ahead and uh, um, click that, and then you can you can see how that works. Okay. So first of all, let, let's go over the methodology. Uh, first of all, then I'll dig right into the system. Um, very simply, uh, I'm not going to repeat what I said in in this morning's video. Uh, it's pretty redundant. So. Replay this morning's video, a lot of good information on how to trade these zones uh, on the live, uh, live trade, uh, the live, uh, watching it uh, tick live there inside the zone and the reaction on that 13 point move. So um, let's go over uh, basically what the, the, uh, the guts of the system is and how it works though. We, we, we know when we see these ATRs print uh, green that we want to look for buy retracements. If they print red, we want to look for sell retracement. So if we're printing green, we're looking to buy the retracement inside the zone or at the zone. If it's red, then we want to try to sell retracements inside the zone. So very simply, if it's green, we want to be looking to buy. If it's red, like this, we're looking to sell the zone, okay? So this is a sell ATR, and the green is a buy ATR. So a little beside each other, so you see the difference. But what you want to try to do is you want to look and find where the high probability reversals are using the algo to do all the work for you. So if the algo is pointing, if it's if it's showing red ATR, we want to look for sell retracements, and green we look for buy retracements. Well. Very simply, the easiest way to do it, and I'll, I'll bring this chart back up in a second so you can see how a short works. Let's go for the long side. This is this is uh, crude oil today. This is our this is my favorite zone. So my favorite zone is inside of the 4538. That's my favorite zone. I have three zones I like to work off of. I like to work off my short, intermediate, and my long zone. This is my favorite. If you just want to trade one zone out of three and not trade all three zones, this is my favorite of the three because you get a lot of trades out of zone. So when you come to these zones, you're looking to you're looking for a price to react off these zones in in direction of the overall overall ATR trend. But that's not enough. Uh, you want the reason this system works so well, and you see a lot of setups that work so well off of these zones, is these boxes that print right here, these red and green boxes. These red and green boxes are very, very important. This is a proprietary software that I had developed. 
And the reason I developed it, I went in detail in it to, in this morning's video. You can play that video and I go exactly why I developed these boxes. But these boxes essentially tell you when a major possible reversal is going to happen. So in a nutshell, we want to see an opposite color bar print against the color of the ATR. So if the ATR is green, I want to see a red box close or start printing. We'll see red boxes print. That tells me I'm going to possibly catch wrongly positioned counter trend algos and counter trend traders at possible major reversal points. So what we're trying to do, uh, the ingredients or the secret sauce on these little boxes, you're getting a big volume spike or volume move into these lows or into these highs and we're getting these reversals. So when you combine my speed boxes, which are these red boxes and green boxes, with my ATR overall dots to provide zone to zones to tell you when a possible major reversal is going to happen, you got yourself a high probability setup. Now, we don't care about green boxes. We don't care if they're hitting the offer really hard. We don't care. These are momentum traders getting into the market to push it higher. We want to look when the counter trend traders are trying to push it hard lower. We're trying to catch them. We're trying to catch them. We're trying to catch these algos when they got this counter trend trading software, what have you. We're trying to catch this, these traders into these lows for reversals at or inside the zone. So to do that, um, you look for the ATR to print green. And then if you're manually trading this, you don't want to look for any trade setups, okay, according to my methodology, unless you have red boxes against green ATR trend. So if I'm in an uptrend, green, 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 if I see a red box print, start printing, I'm getting ready for a setup. If I see a red box print, I'm getting ready for the come down to the zone and I want to qualify the trade, which I'll go over in a second to qualify the trade. If I print red, I'm looking to qualify the trade. If I print red, I'm looking to qualify the trade. So what you can do is you can sit back on any market and say, hey, I know the trend because the ATR is green or red. And then I know I'm trying to catch the rolling position algos or traders because I got speed and volume spikes, volume spike levels coming into my zone. And then I know my zone where my high probability reversal is going to happen. Then I got my oscillator below to time the trade. So here's how the trade setup works. So price is coming down. We're coming down. And the ATR is yellow, meaning it hasn't started trading yet. Then it starts printing green dots. That means I've had a consecutive higher low. And you can change these higher lows as many as you want to get really hard trends. I have this on one, but you can change it to one, two, or three. That means you have three consecutive higher lows or three consecutive lower highs uh, to get these ATRs to start printing. This ATR will continue to print until I get two closes of price outside of this ATR. So it's not going to change unless I get a couple closes outside of it. So as price comes down, what I want to see, I do not want to just buy blindly inside the zone because it can blow right through it. I want to see red speed boxes start printing. That tells me I got major volume coming to the market. They're hitting the bid really strong. That means we got counter trend traders or counter trend algos really hitting the market hard. And that is typically when you see reversals. And I go over that why that happens um, in today's video on that live setup when we're watching it lot trade live outside inside the zone at uh, on the website. Uh, just play that video. Like I said, at day trading the futures on this morning's video. So I go in detail why that works so well. But pretty much if you get a red box, you're looking for a reversal. So once you see the red box, then you want to be the safest trades or the most highest probability trades, okay, would be inside the zone because that would be your optimal point for a high reward to risk trade. Because I'm going to tell you where you want to place have stop placement on these. Because when we do get stopped out on these, we want to have small stops. So when, once the red box starts printing, you get at the zone. Once you get inside the zone, you are now inside of a zone trade. Once it ticks, a couple ticks are with inside the zone, you're inside the zone trade. 
All right, how do you qualify it? What you have on your own system right now, on your own workspaces, you have this oscillator down here. This oscillator will tell you, you can change this oscillator anything you want. Right now I got a 20 DS. If that 20 DS goes above the 20 line, then it will signal an, an arrow, an arrow right here. An arrow will fire where my crosshair is. Uh, this will fire. So for you guys, you just have the oscillator right now and the ATR and the speed boxes. The update will have these arrows that will print automatically for you on the indicator and the strategy, which I'll go over in a second. But you can see these arrows automatically print. So let's go over this one first. So price comes down into your zone. You get the speed box indicating we have a setup. We come down inside the zone. We have not closed two candles below the zone, so it's still an active trade. I, I need now to confirm to pull myself in. My DS comes below. It comes up above 20. This arrow automatically fires. This is where the strategy will get long. Uh, and this will also where the indicator will plot an arrow right there automatically. So there's an arrow long. Your stop placement is two ticks below that swing low. You should never break that swing low unless you do an M top or W bottom. As long as you go two ticks below it, it's usually suffice on those also. But your stop should be two ticks below the swing low. Then your ATM strategy, so you are now long contracts. Um, you should set up an ATM on NinjaTrader. Uh, they have a lot of videos how to do that. Once you hit the enter button, it should automatically put your stop in. It should have your target one, target two, target three, target four, all the way laid out here visually. Um, you can trail your stop. They have an automated trail for you also um, that you can do on your ATM. So the key to the software is knowing where the zone is to look for high probability reversals. But more importantly also are these speed boxes, these volume spikes into these zones because it lets you know where it should reverse and then you can use a confirmation tool like the DS down here to pop higher in the trade. The next setup uh, that happened on crude, you come up, um, you start coming down, let's say you miss this trade, you come down or you're break even plus one or something happens, you get out, you come down, now you tick inside the zone. Okay, once you get inside the zone or right at the zone, DS below, it's below 20. Once it goes above 20, this arrow is automatically going to plot. That's when manually you can get into your ATM and it'll automatically place your stops and your targets. Um, what I like to do is I like to go break even plus one after it's my first target. A lot of traders are doing between eight to 12 ticks on their first target. Um, uh, I, li I don't like going more than 12 ticks. Uh, majority of traders are right around 12 ticks on their first target. Then they go break even plus one and then and so on. So this morning, I. Uh, if you were doing crude on breaking plus one on this one, you would have got knocked out. This one, you'd still be in the trade all the way up. But you can do that to protect contracts and have free trades. But you can run the ATM like how you want to run it. But that's the gist of the trade. Then we come up again. Price comes back down. Now I do not enter the zone. I do have my symmetry dots it landed on to give you support. But the DS gave you confirmation. It will still fire an arrow. This will fire an arrow right when the momentum's coming back in the market to get long on crude oil. It's a nice trade at 76. It fired straight up for a nice 50 tick run. But this told you right here, there is your stop. I mean, your entry, your stop would be two ticks below the swing. Your stop's always two ticks below the swing on these because you want it to, your stops are not large stops, but you want to not trail so close you don't want it on the next bar down in case you get a W bottom or N top. And then we come up again and price starts rallying. Uh, rally here on crude today. And then we get the red boxes. The red boxes su uh, suggest or educate traders that we got counter trend traders or counter trader algos out there really hitting the bid hard, hitting the bid, hitting the bid, hitting the bid hard. Let us know when volumes really come in. Volumes typically reversals. We get inside the zone. We are now qualified to look for a setup. Um, you want the DS to confirm if you're using a DS for confirmation. Once it goes above 20, you got your arrow that automatically fires. And then once again, we got a setup that fires you in that trade. So you can change your DS. If you want it more sensitive and you want to bring your arrow down closer, you go into the algo. And let's just take a look at it. Here's my DS right here, DS period. Let's say you want to change it to 
five and you want it real sensitive, right? You could change the, it's going to change your ATR in this one because I have it set up that way, but you can change your DS to whatever arrow you want to have it set up in. So you can change your, you can change your uh, DS to whatever you want it to. If you want it to fire right at the low of that candle, it will do that also. So then we come up, we start moving higher, and then we come into this right here. Now you can see how this is not inside the zone. Your highest probability trades are inside the zone. This comes down to our zone. And look how it, it still maintains inside the zone. It's not breaking out of the zone. The, the ATR will stop printing, and this is great for stop placement. It will stop printing if you get two closes outside the zone. But once again, you can see that this placement, it never hit your stop, even though it hit a lower low. It never got outside the ATR, and the price resumes higher. Then we move up again. We come inside the zone, and we have the same thing. Red boxes indicate we're looking for a reversal. Um, and then we get inside the zone, and then we get the arrow that automatically fires and so on. So you see my point is that when you're doing buy retracements, the, the highest probability trades are inside of the zone, uh, inside this zone. My favorite zone is the 4538. I do have the 2632 in this, uh, my golden ratio, uh, which I uh, had on my J signal back when we first opened this room a long time ago. My golden ratio is 62%. Uh, that is my, that typically 60, 62% will reverse the markets. Uh, and this ATR fires off, and it will typically uh, ha have these really big swing highs or swing lows off of that. So you can trade those zones also, but you can trade this zone just by itself. Uh, we do have on a workspace my other zones if you want to trade. that's more. You're more than happy to do that also. Now, if you do the strategy then, or let's go to the short second, and then I'll go over the strategy. So if you look at a short, this is the room right here. So... Now, the opposite is for short. So if we're looking to short then, what we want is we want red ATRs, right? The ATR is yellow here, and then it starts printing red. We're looking to short. Now, if the ATR is red, what color of speed box do we want? We want green speed boxes because what? We want green speed boxes to be coming into, into the zone, green boxes into the zone, because now what we're looking for is we're looking for reversals at the zone of the red ATR with green. So it's if you're green going up, you want red speed boxes coming in the zone to catch the catch catch a reversal. If you're going down, you want green boxes to come into the zone for the reversal. Same thing in the room. This is what you have on your workspaces in your own Ninja Trader now. If you get inside the zone, look at your oscillator. There's your oscillator, it gets below 20%. That fires you in that trade. There it is, below 20% at this level. There's your short right there on the S&P. Your stop loss is two ticks above the swing. That would put us outside the zone, which is even prettier. And there's a short. Then it comes down again. We get the green speed boxes against ATR trend. Here is your 20%. I mean, it gets below 80% on your confirmation. Right there it is, matches up well. This is, you'll get short here at that level. Your stop loss is two ticks above the swing high. And there you go again. You don't have to use this oscillator per se 20. Traders use their own pull-in. You don't have to use this per se, uh, this oscillator if you don't want to. If you just get inside the zone, if you use tick charts or uni Rinko bars or whatever you use, you know, if you're inside the zone, use your own confirmation tool to say, hey, I'm at the I'm at the highest probability point of a reversal. So you don't have to just use this oscillator. It's just an easy way to do it. But if you have a better technique that you want to use on a pull-in, you can use it when you get inside the zone. The zone is key. Then we come down here. This is not inside the zone. This is outside the zone, but we do have a green reversal bar. I mean, green speed box that tells us catching the volume position traders, and it did pull us in. So this is a trade setup. So if you wanted to take that trade, you can. If you take this trade up outside the zone, then there is your fill. But your stop loss is not going to be two ticks outside the zone. It's still above that swing high. Still above that swing high. And then we come down and we do the same thing. 
you look, this is the same thing, never met the zone. So if you're going to take that trade, pull yourself in. Pull yourself in right there. You get below 20%. Put your stop loss two ticks above the swing high. This hits it and so on. So that's how you, that's how the shorts work. Now, let's go back to how I'm thinking the strategy emulate the indicator. So the indicator now, so here's, here's the indicator first of all. So as a trader now, these zones are so accurate. We, we're getting a lot of great results, uh, a lot of great emails from, from traders around the world that trade all kinds of different markets, all the way to Bitcoin futures work with this. I mean, it's crazy that uh, Bitcoin micro, I mean, a lot of traders are trading all kinds of different markets. But the, the, the methodology does not change. Uh, the workspaces are set up already for you to plug in and put the market you want to trade, whether it be stocks, Forex, futures, or currency. So um, what you can do then is this is the indicator. Let's say you just want to run the indicator and you don't want to run a strategy. Well, the indicator is I, I give you the speed period already. I've already set the speed candles. I give you this. All this stuff is preset already. You can tweak it if you want, but you don't need to. Um, I do have a trend filter that only goes with certain move average trend off of a different time frame. So you can use higher or lower time frames and only take these reversals. I, I just leave it off because they're, they're accurate without even a trend filter built in because the ATR is really a trend filter. So um, you don't need to have this checked, but you can use it if you want. But um, the color change, basically what that says, if you want hard trends, you just put a higher number. So if you want two or three, that just means down here, I need three consecutive higher lows or three consecutive lower highs before these dots start printing. I leave it at one because I want to get in on these early moves up or downs inside of a zone because they're qualified. But you can change that also. Um, this is a, a toggle switch I put in for the indicator and the strategy though. It's called zone. Now what does that mean? It tells you that if you click this like that on zone, on the indicator or the strategy, it's not going to take any of these trades that are outside of the zone. It's not going to take this trade. It's not going to take this trade because it's not inside the zone. It's only going to fire arrows inside of the zone. Why is that important? Because some traders just want to trade inside of the zone because that's the highest probability move. Other traders want to catch every single speed box that comes up because it's a high probability retracement. All right, so it won't take these trades like this. It will not take it if you have the zone checked. What it will do though, every time it ticks at least one tick inside the zone, it's going to fire an arrow when this DS confirmation confirms that that is a trade setup. So if zone is checked, it's only going to take this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay? Now if we come over, you can see when the, AT, let's see when the ATR stops in. Now watch. When the ATR stops printing, what does that mean? Well, here, we have another trade that happened here, first of all. So here's another one. So here's the, let me show you when the ATR starts printing. So here we go. We get inside the zone. We get above 20. Here's our arrow again. That's your entry. Like I said, let the algo do all the work. It's a great educational software. Here again, we get inside the zone. Red speed boxes catches all the wrongly positioned traders, wrong, wrongly positioned algos. There's the arrow. Stop, real small stop below there. These are big moves in crude today. So you can see if you're going to trade these zones, there's one, two, three, four, five, six zones right there. Let me show you when it breaks outside of it. Now, here's seven. Caught this one too. Once again, there's your arrow. Never closed two candles below. Got above 20. I'm using the same time frame too. Five Simarenko on this. Let's see when it breaks though. So here's what happens when it breaks. Now watch. So now we break, right? ATR dot stop printing. Here's what happens. You're either going to get a retest trade, which typically you, you almost always get a retest trade, where it breaks the ATR, comes back up and tests the zone, and then it rolls back over. So you can project these zones out like this. And here's what happens. Only two things you're going to see happen. And some of these are big trades. If this zone finally breaks, then the market comes down 
it retests, it does an ABC, it comes down, it retests, it gives you a speed bar, opposite speed bar. Now, we were looking for red speed boxes. Now we look for green because we're trying to short the retest. There's a green. You get a DS pull in right at the high. Here it is. Oops, right at the high. So now your short is right here to pull yourself in. Right there, short. Now, one of two things are going to happen. This market is just going to go like this. Down, retest that zone, get an opposite color speed bar, and just tank. You can ask any trader that has a software. Some of these trades are big, real big. I call this a failure trade, a failure retest. What a failure retest is, is it means when the zones finally get done printing and they finally get done zone, 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 and then they finally break and stop printing, look for the first retest zone, and then you, you either see a big crash down or a continuation of a deep retracement. Now, if you start seeing zones print right underneath it, which this one did, if you take a retest short, only take it down to the ATR. But if this is not on here, a lot of times this does not show another ATR that starts printing, then try to let that runner run because that retest short is typically a nice little setup. Now what happens, let's say, if the ATR starts printing again, well, we start doing the same cycle over, is there's our ATR dots, they start printing. Here is our DS above 20. There's our arrow that fires. There's your entry. Your stop loss is two ticks below the swing again. Once again, the next one, you're look for a zone to come down and hit the zone. And you do this over and over and over again. All right, here we go again. This is a huge trade right here. Again, this has never got to the zone, but you did get a pull in by the DS if you want to take a shot at it. If you take a shot at it that's not inside the zone, your stop is still going to be two ticks below this swing low, not outside the zone. Here it's right at the zone. We get an arrow that prints. And there's your stop. Okay? Now, let's look at the strategy. What I'm doing is, since you guys know how to trade this now, if you go to the strat, oh, let's go to the indicator first still. Okay, so the indicator. So the indicator, if you change your DS, this is a 20 down here, you can change anything you want if you want the arrow to come up sooner, okay? And you know if you click the zone, it will only show the indicator print the arrow inside the zone. If you have it unchecked, it will print the arrow every time you get a speed bar. But it's only going to print arrows with speed bars. That's it. All right? Now there is a alert. So I have zone unchecked is taking all trades. Long alert, short alert. It will beep. You have different wave files. You can do gunshots. You can do beeps. Whatever you want to do. Wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five. Just put a number in. You can change the wave in here. Just select it. I think gunshots number three or four. I like that one. But you just change it to from three to four or whatever. Here, where's it at? There it is. Alert one. Put change that to four, three, whatever, whatever you like the sound to be. The one is very obnoxious, but um. So once you get the arrow that fires inside of a zone, after I meaning the DS that you put in, and after it hit a zone, it will make a loud sound. Whatever you put the wave link wave in your wave file. Okay, so I made an alert system so you don't miss these zone opportunities. That's the indicator. The strategy I developed is I developed a strategy just like the indicator. So the strategy, what it's going to do is it's going to emulate the indicator. Same exact setup. Here's your color change. That's a higher lows, higher, higher lows, lower highs. Here's the second ATR. I have it emulating the indicator that is in there right now. So if you want to do it manually, you got the indicator. You want, to, you want to start looking for automated trading, you got the strategy to emulate it and to test it and to back test the results or to test it live. If you want to test the mic, I, said, I highly educate, you trade, I do micros just to get the feel of it. 
um, when you get a time frame that you like. So let's say you want to trade this. Um, I, the, the strategy is built just like the indicator. There's your zone. If you click zone, it'll only take trades inside the zone or outside the zone. It has a start time, end time. The algo won't work outside this time. Trade size, I have it doing four contracts, one, two, three, four. If you put two contracts and it adds more, three contracts adds more to all of them and so on. Um, so what happens is I got a break even plus. It's automatically going to do this. So once you hit your first target, you put your first target, anything you want in, once you hit your first target, it's automatically going to go break even plus one automatically for you on all these contracts, all of them. All right. But the unique thing about it is if you hit trail stop down here, if it's checked, what it's going to do is after target one, it goes break even plus one. After target two hits, then all contracts go to target two. Okay. So after target one hits, I'm sorry, it goes break even plus one. After target two hits, it brings it up to target one. After target three hits, it brings all contracts to target two. After target three, I mean, when three is running and trying to get to four, every 10 ticks, it trails by three ticks. Okay, and that automatically adjusts for you. I put the stair step method into the trail stop. If you don't want trail stop, just uncheck it, and it'll just work your targets and keep it at break even plus one until your targets are hit. Okay, so daily goal, uh, the algo will shut, shut off, you know, whatever your goal is. If you have a daily stop that you do, do not want to exceed on the strategy um, or a daily goal, uh, that will that is designed to do that for you. Okay? So that's what that basically is. But let's take a look at it. Let's just enable this real quick. So as you can tell, it's only taking trades at the arrows. Now this is taking all of them. It's not taking just zone trades, all of them that have speed bars with arrows. So as you can see, it's taking all trades only with arrows. Okay? So when you find a market you like or what have you, then the strategy is emulating the indicator. So you're, let's say you're doing well in the indicator, manually trading the indicator, or you, you back tested it and you love this indicator at a certain time frame and you, so on. Because every, everybody's risk levels are different. You know, some will want to scalp trade. Some will want to position trade. You know, some will want to, you know, have longer targets or hold only two trades during the day. Some traders will want to trade 40 times a day and scalp all these, you know, with small stops. You know, so everybody has a different way they want to do it. I mean, my risk level is different than yours and, and so on. So, you know. I'm making it the strategy to emulate the indicator to fit your risk tolerance and how you want to do it. Okay, so um, that's how the strategy is being built. The strategy is very simple and right to the point. Like I said, there's no extra bells and whistles to it. We don't need any extra bells and whistles. It's very straightforward. If the ATR is going up, we're looking for buy retracements with speed bars. We're looking for confirmation DS to pull us in. That's it. Nothing else. All right, and that's how you're going to trade this manually too. On the indicator, same thing. We're looking for speed. We're looking for indicators down, red, and we're looking for that also. We're looking for retracements, and it's only going to do that inside the zone or outside the zone with the alerts. So, you know, that's how we're, we're going to be doing that also. So what we have for you right now, we have the speed boxes on your own. We have the workspaces set up just like it is in the room, like this. And you have your oscillators below. Everything's already preset for you. When I do release the updated version that has includes the arrow and the updated strategy, you all will have to sign a disclaimer knowing the risk about automated trading because you can run live trades off of it. But you will have to sign it. If you're not aware of the risk, you will not get the software. You know, we, uh, it's very, very aggressive doing strategy trading. And if your computer could go down, there's numerous uh, things that happened to me over the years that, you know, that can happen to you. So, you know, you've got to know the risk when you trade, when you do strategy trading. That's why I always tell traders if they're going to trade live, they should do micros and understand 
their see if their their settings are correct, see if the fills are good. You know, you should always forward test anyway, sim sim at first before you do live. But I'm letting to where traders have the option of going live with this if they find settings they like um, and to, you know, they can run this. So the indicator is going to come with the strategy um, as far as that goes. Okay, you just have to sign a disclaimer knowing the risk involved in strategy trading. And it is a very in-depth risk disclosure because we've all, whoever's run strategies before, there's a lot of things that can go wrong if you do not pay attention to certain things. So uh, we will make you guys aware of all those risks and stuff like that, and uh, show you, show you, um, show you how to turn it on, turn off all that stuff. Okay. The five sim ratio. No. Uh, play today's video, Emma. Play today's video. It shows you the speed about today. Um, it showed a, a trade when I was talking. We had a zone trade. So go back, play that video, and, and you'll see what I'm talking about. 